Welcome to Wild Weekend Adventures. I'm your host, Byron Goggin. You know, people all over the world have a fascination for lighthouses. So we did our research and we found the only manned offshore lighthouse in the world. The best part of it? You can stay on it for the weekend. So here's how our adventure begins. The Detour Reef Light was built in 1847 on the shoreline of Detour, Michigan. In 1931, the lighthouse was deconstructed and moved offshore to its present location on the Detour Reef in 1931. This lighthouse stands in a, in a very important place right at the mouth of the St. Mary's River. It's like the, the grounds of coming upriver, downriver from Lake Huron to Lake Superior and it's really an important strategic location. In 1974, the lighthouse became fully automated and by 1997 had been declared excess property by the U.S. Coast Guard. It seemed at that time she was given up for dead, only to be gradually swallowed by the elements and endless pounding of the waves. When it was decommissioned and declared obsolete, people on the island and the detour too said, you know, we've got to do something about this lighthouse. It has to be saved. It just looks so forlorn out here. And it's a piece of history. Once it's gone, it's gone forever. So the community took things into their own hands. And they started grassroots, $5 here, $5 there. They went from house to house and came up with grant money that equaled about a million dollars in grant money. So they had a million dollar facelift on this lighthouse. Today, money has continued to be raised by giving tours of the lighthouse and offering a unique lighthouse keeper program where people can stay overnight and become actual tenders of this fully functioning Lady of the Lake. They arrive out here on Friday afternoon and they stay Friday night, Saturday night, and they depart the lighthouse late Sunday evening. And your chance to become a part of working history comes at an amazingly low cost. It's uh, $200 per person for a weekend in the lighthouse. Now I tell you what, you can't get a condo anywhere with a view of water around all four sides for 200 bucks a person. So the keeper program has really taken off this year. It's dynamite. I think we have 58 keepers this year as opposed to last year's 37. So in order to actually be a lighthouse keeper, you need to get onto the lighthouse. It's about a 10 minute ride from the hidden harbor of Drummond Island. And when the lighthouse finally comes into sight, the reaction is always the same. The general reaction that I get from people is they're in awe and just almost starstruck. It was so grand, just looking at it, it was huge. I thought it would be smaller, but it was, it was huge. You come around to the lighthouse and you kind of stop, they cut the power, and then it's just kind of in awe as you look up all the layers. You don't realize how tall it is, you do. You read it's so many feet tall and all that, but until you've been there, you don't get the perspective. It's just more than you possibly imagine to come out here. What people didn't imagine, however, is how they were going to get on the deck once they got there. After all, it's 22 feet from the water to the platform. Not exactly a welcome mat for everyone. So I was like, well, how am I gonna get up there? <laughs> Holy wow. You look up that ladder and you think, I came out here for this? I know what to expect, but always overshadowed is you know, my little fear of that ladder. <laughs> I gotta get up that ladder. Now for many people, that's kind of scary. So they devised this safety mechanism. It's a harness that goes around your body. If you happen to slip and fall, it'll catch you. Once they put the harness on and they see the people on top, as well as the assistants on the bottom, I, I haven't had anybody that backed off and did not want to go up on top of the lighthouse. I, I recall one group of middle-aged ladies that came out last summer and apparently two of the ladies had conned their third friend into coming out here not knowing that she was going to have to scale a 20-foot ladder to get up here and when she arrived in the boat she started looking around and it was oh dear but we hustled her into the safety harness and she made it up the ladder without a whimper and it was just great she just enjoyed herself to the fullest out here Okay. <laughs> After a full orientation of the lighthouse, including how the plumbing works, where we will sleep, and how to call for help. James Island, James Island, DRL. This is James Island, Dover. 
Our hosts made true to their word, boarded their boat, and left us alone in the middle of the channel. Hey, you're leaving? Hey, are you sure there's not ghosts on here? <laughs> it all might have been a big joke then, but little did I know what I'd be in for as night fell. <laughs> Now don't go away because coming up next on Wild Weekend Adventures, we have much more from the detour reef flight, including some sunrises and sunsets that you're not gonna wanna miss. Stick with us. <laughs>